could start by poking the needle up this way. And I really did want to do this right-handed for you, but I guess I'm not wired that way. Leave about a three inch tail and hold on to that for a second. Come up in the next box. Here, we'll let you follow. See how that's nice and unwrinkly? I don't think you can do that. Give it a nice tug. I'm going to hold it in place and stick the needle in the next box. This is going to tangle. That's part of the beast. But what you want to try and do is keep this immediate part right here nice and flat. Up to the next box. And as long as you keep going up from the back, that'll be great. We are going to be getting tangles. It's just part of what's going on here. Can't get help. Ooh, just as soon as I said that, I got one. All right. And as you're approaching the corner, you can untangle this from time to time. It can help. Or just retangle it in a different way. And each box. Now it's going to get a little tight in the corner. like your cue because you pass it into the cornermost box, but wait, you're not. You're going to rotate this. There you go. And then, and I know this seems odd, but this last time we covered this part of the box. Now we have to cover this part of the box. So you're actually going to put it in this little itty bitty baby hole at the very corner two times. Once on one side, once on the next side. The idea is to cover that as much as possible. You're covering the edge. And you'll just keep going around and around until you get all the way to the end. And at the end you'll leave a tail as well. These little things you can clip them off later or you can yank on them now. Whatever makes you happy. And when you do run out of the fabric, when you get to about here, take it over to your sewing machine and add another piece to the end. As you get to this little join here, you want to make sure that it doesn't show. So you can twist it around so that you have hidden the seam allowance, which may really be hidden or maybe not. It's really hard to tell. Thankfully, you've sewn a nice small seam allowance and you've back stitched the beginning and end. And it should all work out like this. And if not, nobody's going to look at your rug sideways and say, look at the seam allowance you made. Hopefully it will be so busy everywhere else their eyes will be someplace not covered. Not so. I think that's how you'll be covering the end, or the edge rather. 